chose him for her own And her love made Clifford grow so big That the Howards had to leave their home Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog Emily Elizabeth and her friends are watching their favorite singer, Courtney Amber, on TV. Really? Let me see. Whoa. She's really great. Let me see. There you go, T. Wow. She really is great. I know! Courtney's great! big star. I'll bet she gets a gazillion letters a day. She's not gonna answer one from you, Emily Elizabeth. Maybe, but it can't hurt to try. Listen to this, Clifford. Dear Courtney, my name's Emily Elizabeth, and my friends and I think you're fantastic. <laughs> I just wanted to write and let you know that we all your songs are the best. It'd sure be great if you could write back sometime. And if you ever come to Birdwell Island, please come and visit me. I'm easy to find. Just look for a big red dog. Whoa. Your friend and absolute most number one fan, Emily Elizabeth Howard. Done. You like it, Clifford? <laughs> We mail this today. Maybe Courtney will write us back next week sometime. <laughs> of course, Jetta might be right about Courtney not writing back at all. But you never know unless you try. <laughs> Oops! Oh no! There it goes, Clipper! Woof, woof. We've got to get it back. Hurry! It's getting away! <laughs> 
sis. You got my letter, Jetta. Thanks. Who'd you write to, Emily Elizabeth? Courtney Amber. Oh, well, I just hope you won't be too disappointed when she doesn't write you back. I won't be. And if she does write back, well, that will be amazing. <laughs> it sure will be. Amazing. I even invited her to come visit Clifford and me if she ever comes to Birdwell Island. <laughs> oh, Emily Elizabeth, Courtney Amber would never come to Birdwell Island. She's gonna think you're so silly. She will? Trust me, Emily Elizabeth, don't mail this letter. Come on, Mac, let's go. She's right, Clifford. Courtney Amber would never come visit us. I should just forget the whole thing. Get rid of this, will ya? Huh? Uh, Clifford? Could you please do your digging in another direction? That's a good boy. <laughs> Clifford! What are you burying over there anyway? What's this? A letter to Courtney Amber? <laughs> now, why would you want to bury this, Clifford? Emily Elizabeth. I just hope she took my advice and didn't mail that letter. Don't you, Mac? I mean, she'll just be so disappointed when no one writes back. So, Jetta's behind this, huh? I wonder where Mr. Bleakman is. He told me to meet him here today. Here he comes, Emily. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Mr. Bleakman. My niece is coming in on the ferry today, and I wanted you all to meet her. Your niece? Uh-huh. She's never been to Birdwell Island. I thought you could show her around. Sure, Mr. Bleakman. That sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, really fun. But I, um, I have to go and, um, give Mac a bath today. <gasps> Bye now. Here comes the ferry now. Do you see her, Mr. Bleakman? Not yet. Uncle Horace. Here I am. <laughs> That's Courtney Amber. Courtney Amber? Uh-huh. My niece, Courtney. I think you're gonna like her. Uncle Horace, it's so good to see you. You must be Emily Elizabeth. Yes, but uh, how did you? <laughs> I knew it was you because your letter said you were the one with the big red dog. My letter? Uncle Horace sent it to me with a little help from Clifford. Woof, woof. How about we all go back to my house and get better acquainted? Cool. Thank you, Mr. Bleakman. It was really terrific of you to invite Courtney to visit. You're welcome, Emily Elizabeth. But I think it was your nice letter that convinced her to come. It sure did. Hey, look, everyone. There's Jetta. Oh, hello, everyone. I uh, was just on my way home. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to meet Mr. Bleakman's niece first. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Jetta, I'd like you to meet my niece, Courtney Amber. <gasps> Hi, Jetta. Nice to meet you. C Courtney Amber? <gasps> Always come 
told you not to mail your letter, Elizabeth. Sometimes dreams do come true. They sure do. When I need a helping hand, you make it just in time. You are always there for me, cause you're a friend of mine. You think Courtney would give me an autographed picture if I asked her? You'll never know unless you try, Jetta. Dreams can come true when we help each other. Dreams can come true. Job. One morning, Speckle had a big job to do. He had to clean his room before he could go out and play. Speckle thought he'd never get it done and would be cleaning forever and ever and ever. Then Ravi, Luna, Reba, and Darnell arrived and asked Speckle to play. He said he couldn't until he cleaned his room, so they offered to help. First, they worked together to put everything away. Then they helped to make the bed. Before they knew it, the big job was done. Then Speckle and his friends went out to play, the same way they worked, together. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? Action on the court is fast and furious. And both teams are itching to win. Ah. I got it, I got it. Whoa! It's one of Clifford's trademark sky balls. And it's coming down right in. Woo! Me. And it's a point for Clifford's team. All right. Oh, if you weren't talking so much, Al, you might have made that shot. Ah, oh, relax, Mac. It makes the game more exciting. Okay, guys, if we get this next point, we'll win the game. Right, so let's put on our game faces and buckle down. It's time to show these dogs what we're made of. Let's reach deep down inside. Leo, we get the idea. Let's just try our best. And play resumes with Clifford ready to serve the ball. <laughs> Whoa! It's an awesome air spike by Tanya. I got it! <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> and we have the winning point! Cleo's team wins the game! All right, all right, we won! Woo! Wow, Cleo, that was amazing. It sure was. Huh? But I... That was a real game-winning shot! That's right, we won! We finally won! Yeah! I thought I saw the ball bounce once before Cleo hit it. 
It doesn't count if it did. I know, it's... Ah, uh, don't be a sore loser, Mac. Give Cleo credit. She's a great player. Are you sure it didn't bounce? I... Of course it didn't. It was the best double somersaulting super saver shot I've ever seen. You're the best beach ball player ever. Hooray for Cleo. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Uh, yeah. Sure, hooray for me. that again in slow motion. What? It bounced? Cleo did not make the winning shot after all. <gasps> but it was just a little bounce. Cleo, if you didn't make the shot, why didn't you just tell us? Why didn't I just tell everybody the ball bounced? I should have told them. But then again, I could have made it. I almost made it. If the sand hadn't gotten in my eyes, I would have made it. Oh, who am I kidding? I didn't make it. I'm just gonna have to tell everyone the truth tomorrow. I was so excited about winning the game, I could hardly sleep at all. Me neither. I have something I have to tell you guys. Something I should have said yesterday. Here she comes! Here's Cleo now! Cleo! 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 Hey, Casey! You're on Birdwell Island! Yep, it's summer vacation. We've all been telling Casey about your somersaulting super saver shot. Everyone here thinks you should teach a beach ball training clinic. Me? Teach beach ball? But, but I... Great idea. You're the best beach ball player I know. You think? You bet. You might even have a few things you could teach me. And I'm already a fabulous player. So what do you say, Cleo? Will you teach us? Well... Uh, okay. Yeah! 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 <laughs> what did you want to tell everyone, Cleo? Oh, uh, that. I, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, anyone can be a great beach ball player. It just takes practice and lots of hard work. Yeah! Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the proper way to do a head bob. Remember, the most important thing is to keep your eye on the ball. Now, Clifford! Remember, eye on the ball! Whoa. You okay, Cleo? <laughs> Just showing you how not to do a head bump. You see what uh, happens when you take your eye off the ball? <laughs> okay, time for a nice long jog around the pier. Follow me. Cleo never misses that shot. I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> All right! I got it! I got it! Good shot! <laughs> Mac, move your tail. That's right, that's right. Tanya, quick pause, quick pause. Uh. Oops. T-bone, if you're gonna kick it, give it some oomph. I'll 
I'll show you. Somebody set me up. Uh, here it comes, Cleo. Ha! Oh! Pee! Aya! Oh. <laughs> hmm. Another demonstration of how not to do it, Cleo? Absolutely. Now, I want you all to get back over to the net and do it the right way. Let's go, let's go! Okay, here we go, we're going! Let's do it! Are you feeling okay, Cleo? You never miss those shots. Yeah, is something wrong? Wrong? Yeah, something is wrong. I... Show us your sky spike, Cleo! I really don't think I should. Oh, you can do it, Cleo! Come on, Cleo! Go ahead, Cleo. You never missed that one. <laughs> this time, show us the way it should be done. Go on, show Mac how it's done. Okay, I will. <laughs> that a girl, Cleo. Are you all right, Cleo? No, I'm terrible. You're not terrible, you're just having a bad day. Anyone can have a bad day, Cleo, even me. No, I really am terrible. I should have told the truth right away, and I didn't. What do you mean? Yesterday, at the game, the Super Saver shot, I didn't do it. The ball bounced first. <gasps> I knew I saw that ball bounce. I wanted to tell you guys, but I was afraid. Afraid you wouldn't think I was such a great player anymore. I'm really sorry. That wasn't very nice. Well, at least you told us the truth today, Cleo. <laughs> it was really kind of brave. <sighs> I guess that was pretty hard to do. Then you guys forgive me? Of course we do. Sure we do. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And from now on, I'm going to tell the truth right from the start. Hey, Cleo, how about showing us some of your best moves now, the way they should be done? OK, set me up, Clifford. It's Cleo's famous somersaulting super saver shot. A real one. And it drops in for the score. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray for you, Cleo. Thanks, big guy. Okay, guys, green light. Red light. Huh? Oh. Sorry, T-Bone, you moved. You have to go back to the beginning. <laughs> okay. Clifford and I love playing games. Red light, green light is one of our favorites. Okay. Green light. Red light. But games are only fun when everyone plays by the rules. Oh. Huh? Sorry, Mac, you moved. I did not move. I just lost my balance for a minute. Come on, Mac, play fair. <sighs> oh, okay, I'll go back. Okay then, green light. It's fun to play when everyone plays fair. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is play fair. <laughs> <laughs>